what I think most needs to be added to people's consciousness about foreign policy is really kind of simple. It is the thing I mentioned earlier, cognitive empathy. I just think if we could all get better at understanding the perspectives of foreign leaders and foreign populations and the relationship between the two and the way, you know, the, the opinion, grassroots opinion uh, informs the positions of foreign leaders and all that. If we could just get clearer um, on how they see the world, it would be a big advance because um, it's funny, I, I, you know, there's something about maybe not just America's national psychology. It's probably a common thing with national psychologies in general, but we tend to dichotomize. And, you know, it's like right now we're in a process where China is going to, is moving in the public consciousness from being like, you know, this okay country that like makes a lot of stuff we like and they're different from us, but like, it's okay to being like mortal enemy. Right. And I think, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, I, I think the way we're handling that, in some ways we're making that worse uh, because we're doing things like a, some of the Trump things Trump has done that make the average person in China like us less and like their own leaders more. And so they, they do... We, we are we are making it a, a country that's more antagonistic toward us and a country that's more authoritarian because uh yeah. because it is an authoritarian leadership that that more and more has the support of its people thanks in part to stuff we are doing and i i don't think you know what i'm saying is all that hard to demonstrate it's just that people don't think that way and they don't they don't um and so you know, the thing I would most like to add to the foreign policy conversation, if there was just one thing, it would be, uh, you know, don't accept the cartoon version of, of, of foreign leaders and what they're thinking or foreign peoples and what they're thinking. Like, like a lot of people think probably, well, China's a dictatorship and it's ruthlessly oppressing all, their, all of its people and those people want liberation and we can help. Wrong most of those people actually yeah. like the leadership because in part because it has transformed the country over the last few decades from an impoverished nation into a somewhat prosperous global power.